Hey, welcome back. We're at Exodus chapter 6, verses 2 to 5 this morning. Moses has complained to God, look, since I've come here, all that's happened is nothing. And uh, now God is responding to Moses. Let's read it. God spoke further to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. And I appeared to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, Lord, I did not make myself known to them. I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land in which they sojourned. Furthermore, I have heard the groaning of the sons of Israel because the Egyptians are holding them in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. So God reminds Moses who he is and what he's done. He hasn't been fully named by his covenant name before, you know, YHWH, YHVH, Yahweh. But now he will be by the whole people of Israel. Yes, this name does pop up a few other times before this, but he wasn't known by his people uh, as this being his covenant name. So this is the beginning of an entirely new uh, uh, era for God's people. So God established his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and he's going to be true to that covenant. The connection between God and his people is not casual. I mean, he has obligations to us, and we have obligations to him. Have you ever thought about this? I mean, our hyper-individualistic culture today, it has almost nothing of covenantal-type connections in it. It's all about me and what I get. It's all about, you know, the individual, narcissistically. Uh, what, what do you mean? You mean I have obligations to somebody else in the society? Uh, that, that kind of blows a lot of people away. They don't think of that. But in the Bible, we have a picture of God and the people entering into kind of a mutual pact, more than a pact, a covenant. And this is, you know, one of the reasons why people in our culture find it pretty hard to wrap their head around some of the things that happen in the Bible because we're, we're so individualistic. We don't recognize anybody else's obligations on us. Why should I uh, not do this? Who are you to tell me not to do that? Who would God be to tell me not to do this? So we, we're kind of isolated. We have this uh, erroneous viewpoint about ourselves and our, and our relation to our world. And so this is very useful for us in Exodus to re reestablish this idea, to remember this idea of covenantal relations. So God's deliverance uh, may not immediately be evident. I mean, we may not see everything. We may not see the ground moving like we sort of expect to see. It may not be immediately obvious, but it is in process. And that's a key idea that he's, he's in this section, he's looking, he's attempting to communicate to Moses. And you know, we ought not to forget who God is. He hasn't forgotten their cry. He has come down to engage in their deliverance. And yeah, so far things don't look particularly changed. I mean, not even plague number one has fallen yet. God has not deployed his fireworks, but that time is coming up very soon. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow morning. Hey, don't forget that we do a meeting every, every Monday at noon, 12 noon America, Detroit time. Uh, can we have a YouTube live here where we can talk about the devotionals for the past week? Don't forget to tune in and, and join up and uh, we'll, we can talk about this. Put your stuff in the chat and I'll be glad to interact with you on it. Thank you.